Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell, I've got a little bit of a ghetto wall behind me. I'm out on holidays out on North Stradbroke Island, but we're still going to get a video out today because Bitcoin has broken down on the dominance chart. That's a big thing for our alt season. Obviously, you should know by now, Ethereum has broken out to new all-time highs. Now, that is setting up for a ton of alts to make a breakout as well. And mostly including, as you can see here on the side, that I've got some notes. I've gone through all of my charts or almost all of them. There's a lot of charts. So I'm going to get through as many as I can in about a 15 or 20 minute window before everyone gets back here and makes a ton of noise uh, in the house. Uh, basically, we are looking at the layer two solutions. We got a lot of layer two stuff that I think is going to break out. Now, the major trends that I'm seeing when I cover the different niches, the different sectors of the cryptocurrency market. We have stuff like NFTs, we have stuff like layer twos, oracles, smart contracts, you get the idea. So when you break those things down and you check the charts of each of these individual cryptocurrencies within the sector, you can start to get a feel for which sectors are going to take off next. And that's how you get ahead of the trend. This is similar to trading stocks. So you've got stocks in different sectors the EV sector, you know, electric vehicles. Um, so then those, if those are starting to move, they all start to move together. You've got banking, you've got mining, you've got, uh, you know, staples, um, utilities, tons of different things. And so when these sectors trend, they trend together. And we're starting to see that happen in crypto. And we saw it in the last bull market as well. So if this is new to you and you're not really sure what I'm talking about, hang with me. I'll explain as much as I can in the charts and you you should be able to get an idea as we go through the video. So I'll make mention of that here. What I'm seeing, I've gone through the NFT charts, right? Some of the majors, we've got uh, TVK is one of the small ones, but the the small uh, NFT cryptos are also showing this sign as well. Now the uh, stuff like Engine Mana, it's all sort of setting up for reaccumulations and potentially not breaking out, just like I've got here with Chili's. So they they don't have the same position. But what I'll show you in stuff like uh, the smart contracts like dots broken out, uh, Binance is broken out. These layer twos are looking like they're going to break out. Ethereum has broken out. Now the sentiment has shifted towards the smart contracts. So this is where the money is moving for now. And this is a very fast paced industry. So we've got to be on top of that. Just like we, we saw it with NFTs, everything rushed to NFTs. Last year it rushed to decentralized finance and that all moved up together and now you can tell not much is happening in DeFi but it will come back. Should make mention, if you find value from the video let me know, hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new here or if you're a returning subscriber and you just haven't hit subscribe yet, do that, we're on our way to 110,000. There is a giveaway for three people, three free 12 month memberships to the course. So all you have to do is click the link down below and put your email address, that's all you got to do, anyone can enter. All right, without further ado, let's dive across into the charts. And this is what I got first up. Actually, first up, uh, thank you very much. On Easter, you guys have mentioned what you want to see here. I won't spend too much on that. Twitter, come across to my Twitter because talking about underrated projects, what is your most underrated cryptocurrency? I'm talking about Zen. Zen is probably one of my most underrated cryptocurrencies at the moment. Yesterday's Ethereum video. Make sure you watch this video. The thumbnail might be a little bit dodge. Go and watch it. We're talking about time frames on Ethereum. This is going to help us with the markets. We have identified a six month pattern in Ethereum. Go and watch that video to understand it a little bit further. That is a very worthwhile video. Uh, fear and greed. Like I said, we're going to go through just a little bit of quick news and then the charts. There's not a big one in the news today. Uh, fear and greed at 73. It's pretty steady. Greed, greed, greed. We've been climbing up. Look, last week, 65, 74, 73, and we've just been slowly climbing in this greed, and we'll start to see it pump as this alt season comes off. Now, the ratio, the flip, this is basically Ethereum where it should be if it was worth half as much as Bitcoin. $4,800 Ethereum. We should be at least here. Basically, they're, out there saying the network of Ethereum should be valued at least half of what Bitcoin is because of how much is on Ethereum and compared to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin left, the cryptocurrency space would, would basically still go on. But if Ethereum left, I think we would actually really struggle. Everything is on Ethereum, and that's where we are basically trading everything now. NFTs, DeFi, Oracles, smart contract, layer 2, everything, all the money is in Ethereum. 
I'm not a maxi. Relax. We want to make money from this stuff, but we understand the process behind it all. Market cap. We are nearly hitting $2 trillion market cap. We're getting very close now. Ethereum, with this move up to new all-time highs, $2,100, $243 billion. Binance has gone on its run, $341, $53 billion Binance. We looked at this just the other day, just as it broke out around that $300 level. So about a 15% increase from there. Dot on another move again. XRP, that's the strange one, isn't it? We're going to look at that quickly as well. All right, for you guys wanting to see some NFT stuff, Chain Games, Fortnite, Public, Testnet is basically out today, 3rd of April. Go and check that out if you are interested in these smaller cryptocurrencies and what they are doing with the gaming sector. All right, headlines. Headlines, basically headlines only. Uh, Bitcoin market change radically and volatility decline attracts institutions. Just be careful of the headlines. Market change radically. Things don't really change that much that quickly. Uh, basically, it's great institutions are getting in, but the radically part, I think that's just trying to trying to push a narrative that isn't there just yet, but that's okay, you right? XRP is worth more today than it was before the SEC lawsuit. Take very strong note of its value against Bitcoin, not its US dollar value, because you're still down against Bitcoin. We're gonna have a look at that quickly. Daily HODL, uh, not too much on the headlines here. NFT crypto assets, yeah, I don't see too much over it, this one here. So let's just close out a daily HODL today. Coinbase IPO set the 14th of April, so 11 days behind. So far, they were looking at a value of $90 billion. So check that price when it gets listed. Let's see where we're at when, with that. All right, I think I haven't got the video done in time. Everyone's back, so you're going to hear some babies crying. Uh, research reveals mystery behind XRP. This is what I'm talking about here. So XRP has sold 180 million XRP per month. At a value of about 50 cents, look, we know it was 20, we know it was 80 cents. We're going with about 50 cents. I can do some quick maths there. That's $90 million per month. They've been selling this largest XRP sale during the third quarter, 2018, second quarter. So every year they're selling $1 billion worth of XRP to the market. All right, so it's still getting crushed out there. Um, so yeah, there's still a lot of money to be coming out through XRP. Uh, the headlines here, Biden. Biden wants to boost corporate tax rate to 28%. <laughs> Just know that the, the smart, the, the big money, the, the business money is still going to get out of these tax rates. It's We know that, all right? So even if they try to do this, it just, the small guy thinks it sounds good, but the big companies are always going to find a way out of it. All right, let's move across to the charts now, and we'll skim through a few of these, and then we'll cover more of them in tomorrow's video. So the main ones I want to go through with you guys today is the top here, BTC, D, BTC, and Ethereum. Just to show you that, I definitely want to show you this, is dominance. This is what we've been tracking for quite some time here. So BTC, D, 58.6. Look at the breakdown. We got that. We weren't sure the other day, and we just got it last night. This is today's bar here. So we got the breakdown that we're looking for. You, you're probably getting sick of me talking about this double top and our GAN targets. These are the targets that GAN would have used on the double top, 1.5, that's the 150%, looking at 50. That's a very, very, very big fall. So if this is the major fall that we're looking for, then we could definitely see huge rises on altcoins. 54%, uh, which is just through here, I think that's gonna be our next target. We've just gotta get through this 57.8%, 57.8%, which I think we will. There's the next resistance level. I think as we start to move through that level, we will go quickly to 53.8 and then to 50. There's not much not much left behind us besides this little area right here at around 52. So keep this chart open for, for yourselves and just keep an eye on this because this will let you know about altcoin season. The other thing is um, Bitcoin is not in new all-time high territory. It is hitting resistance at its old swing top, which we have covered many, many times before. I had some targets further down here. Uh, they haven't come to fruition yet. That's just the, the nature of the game. However, we have not seen higher prices, which is a good thing for alt season. It just means that I'm just not buying Bitcoin. I want to see it come down to these levels before I buy it. Other than that, I'm fine because I've got more Ethereum, and Ethereum is my major safe play to get the gains against fiat and against Bitcoin. Uh, so this is the safe play. You guys, you're not going to get your 10, 20, 50 Xs from Ethereum. 
but to me this is like the safest easiest money to be made and there's so much more money to be made in ethereum than there is in something like the stock market just taking a look at the last week we've seen a 25 percent increase this is crazy absolutely crazy the, to find this in other asset classes with such low risk in my opinion because i i like ethereum and i've understood it and i've followed it for so long how much is being built on it to me it's just a no-brainer ethereum no-brainer 25 percent a week done sure you might be like, you know it's not a hundred percent it's not a hundred and eighty percent like like filecoin or something like that but even filecoin is sees its day you know if you're getting sucked into buying it at two hundred dollars or 180 now you're sitting at a loss 172 and unfortunately, a lot of suckers bought it up up here, 220. Sorry if you're one of those. You know, I'm not having a go or anything like that. We've all been we've all been in those situations buying tops because it just seems too good to be true. You know, you saw this top and then it just broke right through that at 100 bucks. Why not? But this is a very clear signal of a, a reversal. You put on your candles. Look at that massive wick at the end of a huge run. You need to add all of all of these uh, signals together. It's not just a one candle bar. So you can't trade just like that. You need to add in a whole lot of signals together. There's a full bull run here. You've got major swings. You've got the speed. You've got the market sentiment. You've got the candle itself, which is a shooting star, essentially. See, little body, huge wick, and the market's just been slammed back down in sales. So you need to add all these things together to get a picture. That's why this isn't the top. This was not the top. It looked like it could have been, but we just didn't get the breakdown structure, and then we got the build-up, and we went again on higher volume huge volume at the top that just slammed it back down hammered it back down you can call it a hammer you can call it or inverse hammer shooting star whatever you want to call it which is a technical term within candlestick charting so that's fill your file coin obviously from here it could keep going but just that structure to me is i feel there are safer cryptos for me if this is your coin you do you remember none of this is financial advice this is just how i read the charts from the study that I've done over Wyckoff, Wyckoff theory and GAN theory as well, WD GAN, legendary traders of the early 1900s. Both of them knew each other from reports that I've read, and so they both understand each other's style of trading, and that's why they work very well together. Now, I've looked at all these. We've looked at Bitcoin dominance, which is massive. We cracked it. We are breaking down. That's what we want to see. Bitcoin trading under all-time high, so that's that helps us with alt season. And uh, Ethereum, new all-time high, and I think as the alts shoot up, as people sell out of their profits back into Ethereum, that's going to cause Ethereum to go even higher. And if you watched yesterday's video, you can see what our target is. I put it in the thumbnail, but why? You want to know why? We've got a couple of targets in there. Go and check that video out from yesterday after you've watched this one. Really important because it talks about time frames as well, not just picking some random date at the end of the year. We're really looking at time frames and how to measure those and calculate them. So I've got a ton here. Uh, I'm going to look at dot because we've broken out. I'm going to look at layer, one of the layer twos. And uh, you guys have asked about VET a few times. So I'll quickly look at that. And if I get a chance at one more. Okay, let's first up uh, have a look at dot. And dot is right here at 44. We've just broken out, broken out of the all time high. That's what we want to see. Sorry, the baby's in the background. Dot BNB. So DOT is actually making a move against Binance, even though Binance is also going up. That's a strong sign. DOT BTC on its way up again, all-time highs. So it is early stages of this. Uh, I've been buying through these levels again, but not much because, you know, we talked about this on the channel, talked about Polkadot way back, I believe it was January and also definitely February. So these were the areas to break out and then wait again. DOT ETH. Also making a little bit of a move here, breaking these highs. Um, the other one I wanted to quickly show, which I didn't mention, was CRO. Don't sleep on CRO. If you want to purchase CRO in Australia, check out CoinSpot. Link to that in the description. Any of these other cryptos, most of them you can get on SwiftX in Australia or Binance, which there's also a link to both of those in the description. Get your trading fees and free Bitcoin if you use those links. Crypto.com, don't sleep on this. The amount of partnerships that Crypto.com have is ridiculous. Also, last week, they did a deal with Visa to roll that out. Okay, so check that video out if you haven't already. There's a lot going on with Crypto.com. They launched their NFT marketplace. They have a partnership with Aston Martin, who are finally coming back into the Formula One. So that's a lot of promotion in the sports space, which then leads to the NFTs. 
more that gets created, so on and so forth. So that's how the news is meeting with the, ch the charts itself. Crypto.com, you know I, I love it and uh, you know, I use the card. It's just a fantastic app. It's one of the best ones out there for the payment services, bringing crypto to the real world. Okay, so that's our, dot, our CRO. Um, back to the charts here. Because I won't get through them all, I'll mention a few of these and then we'll, like I said, look in the next video. Sol, it's hitting resistance above all-time high. Um, I, I like the project. I like a lot of these projects. That's why I have them here. But I, some of them just aren't reading. Some are. Zill, breaking out. We looked at this and I'm not going to get it here, so I'll have to move this. Zill USD. That's us here. Look at that. We just touched the top. We've been waiting for our 24-day move to break cleanly. That's what's got to happen here. So we're just waiting to break again. Good volume, lower break. That's not good, but it is the highest close that we've seen since the previous bull market. That's a very strong sign. So Zill is looking good. And if we look at Zill BTC, again, this, look at the wind up on that. This is a huge, fantastic pattern. We just need to break out of this and we're getting extremely close. We don't have much time. That's why I'm saying it's an April coin. All right, so we need to break out of these highs. Highs close above it, 360 sats. That's the level I'm waiting for. Got my position, waiting for Zill to blow off to the moon. Uh, the next piece we had here, I wanted to see Zill. Uh, IDO platforms, they're looking big, looking very big at the moment. So poker starter, accumulation zone, ready to go real soon. That's, you know, obviously what I'm seeing using GAN analysis. So none of this is financial advice. I have to make that extremely clear because a lot of people are still just seeing this and going and buying stuff and they don't understand stops. They don't understand time frames because this is not going to go tomorrow when I say very soon. You've got to be patient. And so some people lose money, but it's you've got to make your own decisions. Okay, you've got to understand how to chart. So if you're interested in that, Come and join the group, the Investor Accelerator course, membership 12 months. Go and check that out. Link is in the description. We talk about a lot of these projects this week. Om Mantra Dow, um, you see that we got in thumbnail a couple of weeks ago. Not ready yet, but getting ready. So IDO platforms look like they are also making a big move. Mantra Dow, Mantra Dow, it's OM, OMUSD. This is also on your Swift X, it's on Binance. Probably stuff you haven't heard of before, just little altcoins. This is basically where, where new projects can launch from. So their initial DAO offerings, I have to think, read that again, there's so many. But essentially, the idea is that you can launch projects from these areas, okay? So that's why they're looking very strong. That's OM, USDT, and Poles, USDT. See that? So what I'm looking at here, see this is the volume. We have the break, high close above this high, this swing top. And now we're starting to move again. There is a chance that we they break we break down, but this is the idea. If we're getting in earlier when we're not shooting up to the sky, we're getting in earlier. There is a chance that it breaks down and goes against us. But we need to identify when the tide could be turning as opposed to the tide coming down against us. And this is what that's why I use Wyckoff theory. Okay, the, the probabilities are stacked in my favor as opposed to just buying on a whim and hoping that it goes back up from these points here. Uh, that's you know it's been a couple of months since we've been accumulating in these lower areas. That's why I'm getting more comfortable with Poker Starter. So, you know, Poker Starter, Poker Platform, launching projects, another great thing. Let me have a look what we have left. Zill. Um, I wanted to look quickly. XRP. Mark is looking good as a buy zone, so that's a benchmark. The graph we've talked about heaps of times. It's starting to trend up, starting to go. NFTs. I made mention of a few of these. Mana setting up. Uh, TBK not ready yet, but it's still accumulating. This is this is my buy zone. I'm, I'm getting getting there. Bigger position. TBK. Uh, Raiden has broken out. It looks like it's setting up again. Ren haven't heard about that in a long time. Good accumulation zone. Reef is slowly rising. Litecoin. Watch the LTC BTC chart because the the dollar chart is going up, but the Bitcoin chart is it is slowly climbing. But be very careful with that. You want to make some gains against Bitcoin. Link, we got the first breakout in those levels. So let's look at, let's definitely look at Link. Link XRP and then we'll call it a day. So Link 3220, this is the break I'm talking about and we got the volume, check that out. All right, we're still under these zones. A close above 33 to 34 would be a better sign. And yeah, hopefully we can get going on this, on this trend up and we get on track. We get on the trend as the rest of the alts run. 
that's the idea here. XRP, last one. It's been a long time since we talked about XRP. So looking at the Bitcoin chart first, this 22nd, 23rd of December, that was the time when the SEC came out, or at least there was huge news because that was the massive dump on huge volume, okay? So even though XRP has gone up against USD value, against its Bitcoin value, it is still down by half. See, it's at 1,000 Satoshis now. And at that break level, it was 2,200 Satoshis. So this looks like it's setting up to break to the upside, maybe a little bit longer. When some news comes out about it, I'm sure this thing will go nuts. But for now, it's just not there yet. We'll wait and see. Uh, let's XRM, we want XRP USD. You can see it's climbing all the way back on its dollar value, which is a good sign for it. Definitely a very good sign. It's at 63 US cents now. So I'll leave that there. I've gone through a lot of charts very quickly. So I hope you found a ton of value from that. Let me know. Comments down below. Subscribe to the channel. Bell notification icon so you can be updated. We're going to keep following this in a lot more detail on the charts. It's my forte, what I absolutely love. And uh, yeah, follow us again tomorrow. It's going to be Easter. I'll do a nice quick update. Easter for you, cover some of the other cryptos that we haven't. Sorry if I didn't get to your crypto today. These are some of the really good ones that I'm liking the look of and stuff that we have covered before. So I want to sort of bring it all together again as opposed to continuing to bring in a ton of new cryptos. All coins for April, surging, all that sort of good stuff in the headlines. Wait to see it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Daily Q&A. Uh, watch my retirement fund over there. 260 4000 I think it is today, $262,000. Check it out, Instagram and Twitter. We'll keep up to date, chat over there. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, have more fun to get more done.